All right. This is the Sound Clinic with Dr. White, and you're listening to Dr. White. And what I'm going to talk to you about today is setting up a session and then turning that session into a template. So without further ado, here we go. So first thing you're going to do, open up Pro Tools, name the session right here, and then pick where it's going to go. I've got this prompt for location set up. That way it doesn't accidentally go somewhere crazy. As soon as you click Create right here, it's going to prompt you to pick a location. So let's pick a location. All right. And this is how it's going to pull up. All right, blank screen. Nothing set up. Uh, completely dead. All right, this is what most people start with and don't know what in the hell to do next. So that's what we're going to talk about. So first thing you want to do is create some tracks. All right, if you hit Shift, Command, N, it's going to pull this thing up right here. What this is is your new track selector, how many you want, stuff like that. So you can obviously do as many as you want, but we're going to keep it basic just so you kind of know exactly what you need, what I would start out with if I was just going to start recording, you know, for a typical rap session. So... <clears throat> We're going to do eight mono audio tracks, all right? We're going to do, let's say, six stereo auxiliary tracks. We're going to do let's see, one stereo audio track. the beat and we're gonna do a stereo master fader all right this is gonna get you started right here okay so it's eight mono audio tracks those are gonna be tracks you can record to one stereo audio track which is gonna be a track you can import your beat to uh, we're going to do six stereo auxiliary inputs. These auxiliaries, I'm going to show you how to route those. And there's going to be a couple extra for effects. And then a stereo master fader so that you've got something to bounce to. Uh, let's go ahead and click create. And watch how those populate the screen. All right, so over here, it's going to start with your audio tracks in this blue color, your auxiliary tracks in this green color, and your master fader down here in red. Uh, if you double click where it says audio one, it's going to pull up so you can name it. Let's name this hook lead. If you click next, it's going to go right down here to audio two. Do uh, hook back left. And if you see, if you type this hook back left, look how it's going to pop up over here. It's going to pop up. That's about as much as you can get into one of these spacers right here. So if you want to abbreviate, you can. It's going to be hook back right. We're going to do hook ad lib. Then we're going to do first one. First one back. And when I say a back, I just mean a highlight track where you're kind of just highlighting your rhyme scheme. Uh, and then we're going to do verse 1 ad lib. And then we've got an auxiliary track down here, just a random track, audio 8. Uh, you can do ad lib 2. You know, like I said, this isn't steadfast. This is just a little bit of help for you to get a session going. And then the final track we got down here is the beat. I'm going to click over here where this little color thing is after I accept this. Change the color so that, uh, well, because I've had everything highlighted, it changed everything. So let's just make 
the hook its own color the first and ad libs their own color give the beat its own color aux tracks I like these to be pleasing when I look at the screen. And then your master fader. Some sort of a red. All right. I'll typically set up a track to record and drag and drop. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can click right here on your input, pick what your mic input is. Everybody's setup is going to be slightly different. But you pick that, and then that way you can record directly to that track, or you can create a track specifically to record on. It's going to be another stereo or a mono audio track. We're going to name it Record. Color it red. And now you can use this track solely to record. And as you record stuff, you can click it, drag it down, drop it here, wherever you want to go as you go. Uh, I typically like my beat to be at the top. Your beat's automatically going to be, all these tracks are going to be routed to your master fader at this point or whatever your main audio output is. Uh, so your beat being routed to that is fine. <clears throat> uh, all of these tracks now we're going to want to change. So this first auxiliary track, let's go ahead and name it Vokes. And now we're going to click hold shift click so we can highlight all of these hold shift option click and we're going to say let's just pick a bus seven and eight and now <clears throat> well hold shift option click bus seven and eight all right here we go so now all of these selected tracks are now routed to output seven and eight well this vocal track right here this auxiliary we're going to change the input to bus seven and eight and it's routed to the output one and two which is going to be our master so now all of these vocals are going to trickle down to this one auxiliary track now we can load that up with plugins whatever we want to do to keep from having to put the same stuff on all of these tracks this is just for recording eventually you're going to want to break down treat every track individually but for recording it's easier to just have everything bust everything's going to end up bust to a vocal track that's all your vocals in the long run so this would be a good way to start to get a vocal sound going in a recording session <clears throat> uh, the rest of these auxiliary tracks and by the way if you right click on this input track which is right now bust seven and eight you can click rename and we can call this our all vokes aux all right, and now when we go to find it in the menu, it's not going to be bus 7 and 8. It's going to be all Vokes aux. So if you got to route anything else there later, you know what it is. You know what it's called. Uh, now the rest of these, let's create a, let's say a reverb. Let's do a delay. That's an eighth. Let's do a delay. That's a quarter. Um, maybe a parallel compression track. I mean, this is going to be really dependent on what you want to do. And uh, let's do the last. Let's make it a mix bus. All right. I don't personally like going straight to the master output. Uh, sometimes I like to print within the program and then bounce that way. But if you are going to bounce, I still just don't like having anything on this master bus. So I have a mix bus that is an auxiliary track. So once again click on the input find an open bus we're going to go 910 right click rename mix bus so now we're going to do a little bit more rerouting this vocal aux that all of our vocals is dumping into is now going to be feeding the mix bus these other random auxiliaries that we made once again click it Hold shift and click to highlight all of them. Hold shift and option and select mix bus while you're holding shift and option. And boom, everything is now going to the mix bus.
<clears throat> now on this mix bus you can apply processing to the overall track whatever you want to do but uh this is you know this is the basic session setup right here um all of your plugins can be set up right here let's go with a reverb i like our verb because it doesn't have latency go to delay another the delay with no latency is H delay. As soon as that comes on, you hear that little sound. This is this analog button. All Waves plugins got it. Doesn't ever be useful to me. It always just annoys the shit out of me, so I turn it off. There you hear the sound go away. Uh, set that to an eighth. If you hold Option, click and drag, it's going to drag the plugin down an exact copy. So you can change that to a quarter. Uh, parallel compression. Let's just do stick with the waves theme here. Set this guy up for your parallel. <clears throat> all right, now none of these have inputs yet. All right, all of these auxiliary tracks are just have no inputs. You can see them right here. So you're going to want to click on them and give them inputs 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, and finally bus 17, 18. And then go through and name these if you want. I advise you to. It's going to be verb. It's going to be an eighth. I rename these shorthand so I can find them quick. But what I like to call them, there's your quarter. And here's a parallel compression track. All right, so now let's say we're on our all vocal track right here and we want to send a reverb. You can easily click on the verb and it's going to send straight to this reverb unit right here. All of this is going to end up dumping to this mix bus. So you could effectively set up all of your delays and reverb options. And then hold control and command to make them inactive or active or just hold command and mute them either way you like that way when they pull up in the session they're not actually going but they're there <clears throat> all of these plugins latency free so you can record with them and they're not going to create any type of problems with the artist and real quick you can dial in a sound uh, very easily with these settings right here. So now let's say you set that up, you're getting ready to record, but you don't want to do this every time. So the next bit of this is going to be to create a session template based off of this little setup that you just did so that you can start from here every single time. <clears throat> oh, a couple other things before we go there that I'd like to go over. Uh, this nudge thing right here, I always go down here, set it on samples. Set it to 100 samples. That way you can use your keyboard to nudge if you want to highlight something and nudge it at all. The samples is, is the way to go if you're trying to lock vocals in. It's, I, just, I like it there. You don't have to, but I like it there. That's what I like to do. Uh, if this isn't up right here, this is your little menu where you can type in the tempo of your beat. Uh, after you find the BPM, you know, you can change that. I leave it set to 120 for a start out. That's kind of standard. And then you can change it once you import your beat into the session. I also like to have an auto tune ready to roll over here with whenever you pull up this. I don't know about the other ones. I can't remember, but the new auto tune pro, whenever you pull it up, you got to click on settings and uh, click on this use low latency so that it doesn't give you any latency, obviously, every recording. So I like to have that in my template set up, ready to go. I click it off in case I don't need it, but it's there. Now, if I've got to duplicate this to other tracks by holding Option and dragging, it's already going to be there, and it's going to be latency-free and ready to roll. Uh, there's probably a ton of different things that everybody does on their own. That's their style. There are things that they go to. I would suggest this is the time you can kind of set those up, get them ready to roll. That way, when you create this template, it'll pop up like this every time. Uh, <clears throat> this is another thing. I like having minutes and seconds up here instead of bars and beats, but, you know, that's on y'all. Uh, 
this is a pretty much this is pretty much it for a basic setup so this should get you rolling all right this is going to be good now to save this as a template you click on file save as template right here all right now it's going to ask you where you want to save it at these are the different template options all right record mix guitar whatever okay so save it and record a mix name it sound clinic click ok file save this session let's close it out now if i go up here to file create new create from template in the record and mix section here we go sound clinic click create i'm just going to save it back in the same session uh okay let's call it sound clinic once it doesn't want to save just so you can see it pull up boom exactly how we left it everything routed named labeled you know this is all obviously very basic uh, you can make it as complex as you want you can set it up for all different types of effects you like to use any way you like to do it this is the way uh this is a pretty quick setup that I would imagine most people would use if you need new vocals uh, you can just duplicate tracks just like this and being you've got more for whatever section you need if you need a verse 2 maybe highlight everything you can duplicate all of them and just change the color slightly so that you know this is now verse 2 go through rename however you need to do it but this will get you going very quickly so that's session setup and template creation so if you got any other questions please ask in the comments as always thank you for watching the sound clinic hopefully i got the vocal of myself a little bit louder and clearer today i know there was no music in this this was all talking hope i got through it quickly for you and this little template right here will be just enough to get you rolling uh, if you got any questions please ask down in the comments below as always like and subscribe and thank you for watching the sound clinic